Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my office. Well, I've got another laser engraver test and review for you. This is the Comgo Z1 laser engraver. And they sent me a bunch of stuff with this one. I'm pointing at the uh, rotary ruler. That'll be something new for me to test out. But this one came with an air assist. A uh, enclosure. As well as the uh, engraver itself. Which is right here. And once again it's uh, packed up very securely. No issues with that at all. I'm not going to show the... Uh, putting together of this, the assembly of this, because you can find that plenty of other places. We're just going to get down to the testing. So what I'm doing right here is focusing the laser with that piece of plexiglass, 7 millimeter plexiglass. You just put it underneath that uh, laser eye protector piece there and adjust that laser up and down so it's resting on that, uh, giving you the proper distance between your uh, engraving target and the laser and that uh, particular piece of equipment reminds me to let you know that this is indeed a budget uh, laser engraver and what I mean what I mean by budget is I've seen this uh, for under four hundred dollars that's less than half the price of uh, that first one that I showed you So when I'm talking about testing, I'm talking about just getting down to the brass tacks of it. I'm going to make it do stuff, and I'm going to see whether or not it does it to my satisfaction. So keeping in mind that this is a entry-level budget laser engraver, when you look at the things like that piece of plexiglass that you use to focus the beam, you got to keep that in mind. They had to cut costs somewhere. And that's one of them. You can use either the free laser gerbil program or uh, light burn. I did use both uh, in the making of this testing video. So here we have the air assist that they sent. It comes with uh, a bunch of different attachments. Uh, for example, that roll of tape that would be used for a different model laser engraver. These things are pretty much universal. And this comes with a whole bunch of different nozzles. Uh, one of the issues that I have with this one is that uh, the eye protector piece fits on the bottom of that laser usually um, it does not fit over the air nozzle so that laser is exposed and you must be actively wearing eye protection and you definitely don't want to have kids or even pets around when uh, you're using the air assist without uh, the enclosure which I'll show you shortly but you can see the difference there between using the air assist and not using the air assist. There's a lot of scorching without it. It does a great job of eliminating the scorches when you've got it turned on. So I'm just putting this thing through its paces. Uh, this is cardstock. Uh, one of my longtime subscribers was talking about possibly buying a laser engraver to cut uh, greeting cards with. And there you go. This can certainly do that. And it is a budget laser, like I said. Lots of possible ways to make money with one of these things. It's up to your imagination. Like Comgro says there, enhance your imagination. Susan's hot chocolate. Oh, ho, 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 if only you knew. Okay, so this is the fireproof laser enclosure. 
and it is fireproof. If you look on the ComGrow uh, website, they've got a video uh, where they take a, a torch to this thing, and it holds up really well. It's got a big window that you can look through while the laser is going. Uh, it's still bright. You still might want to have your, your uh, eye protection on, but... Uh, I didn't see that you necessarily needed it, but I do recommend it anyways. Uh, and here you can see the access that you actually have. And I'm going to leave it open for some parts of this video and closed for others just so you can see. I didn't mention it, but uh, when I showed this enclosure, uh, you saw that there was an exhaust port on the right-hand side. Uh, that did come with a very nice plastic uh, piece that you screw on, and you can hook up uh, ventilation pipes or hoses uh, very easy. I've got the video playing at 10 speed here. Uh, the laser is actually not going that fast. It's just interesting to watch. So this is a three millimeter piece of basswood, uh, plywood. Once I had this uh, rhinoceros engraved on it, I decided to make a puzzle out of it. I wasn't sure how this was going to work out, but uh, I was very surprised, very happy with this. That's nice, right? And now on to the rotary roller. I'm using flat green paint on this uh, glass jar. I see most people in videos using a black paint or even a blue uh, engraving tape. But it seems to me any flat color is going to work out nicely. I used a gloss black and it didn't work as well as the flat green. Just uh, conversationally. Look at that. That turned out pretty nice. And here's a look at it after I cleaned off the paint. Not too shabby. There's a couple of spots in there that, that need some work, but that's probably how I programmed it wrong. I don't think it's a reflection of the capabilities of this laser engraver. And I did have the gloss black on this jar. What I'm engraving here is the bottom side of a textured glass cutting board. The bottom side is uh, smooth. No texture whatsoever. So I figured that would be the side to engrave on. And we'll see how it turns out.
Well, I'm really happy with how this uh, Viking longship turned out. Great detail, and the texture in the front makes it look like stormy weather, which is fitting. A couple other things that uh, stick out as a reason why this might be a lower priced uh, laser engraver. Uh, you must be near a computer or have a long enough uh, cord to, to hook up to a computer because you cannot use a, a TF card and uh, it does not have Wi-Fi. Other than that, I put it through its paces. I tested out quite a few different materials, cut quite a few things, engraved quite a few things, and this machine did everything I wanted it to do. So with the limitations that I mentioned and the lower cost, this might be the laser engraver for you. If it is, make sure you check out my video description for the links to the products and the discount code. It'll give you 5% off. Thanks for watching, everybody. God bless and Semper Fi.